Thanks for joining us today. I'm Gabe Garish. I'm on our Backwoods Pursuit, and today we're going to do an ultralight backpacking chair review comparison. We are going to look at backpacking chairs under two pounds, roughly in that category, down to as light as one pound here. We're going to compare these 10 ultralight and lightweight backpacking chairs to help you decide what's going to work best for your needs. As always, really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put links to those down in the description, a link to all these chairs in the description for you. So if you want to check them out for yourself, as well as a link to a more in-depth article that we did on each of these chairs. Uh, so you can check that out and help you decide what's going to work best for you. And let's dive into this ultralight backpacking chair review. All right, now the ultralight backpacking chairs we have in this review, we've got the Big Agnes Mica Basin. We have the Climate Ridgeline Short. Here is the REI Flex Light. Uh, the Lecky over here, Lecky uh, uh, Time Out Chair. Here is the Nemo Moonlight. Over here is the Alps Mountaineering uh, Apex. Uh, here is the Big Agnes uh, old Skyline UL. Over here we've got the Helinox Chair Zero the Big Agnes Skyline UL Stool, and the REI Flex Light Air. But one of the things that we really found to affect the stability of chairs is the design of the legs here. So you have these chairs that have this horizontal design like that, where the, the, the structure is supporting laterally there. And then you have some like this, it's the REI Flex Light, that is a front to back kind of a stability here. So the main support there is going front to back and then the legs coming out to the side that way. What we found here is that the stability was better in this style of a support system, the side to side, rather than the front to back. At least the stability was a lot better uh, laterally. And with these, this front to back this way, it, it tended to want to lean forward a lot easier than this style did here with the front to, or the side to side type of a, a leg system. Now, another factor that was a really big difference in how comfortable these different chairs were was the amount that they reclined or didn't. So something like the REI Flex Light here, this is not the air version, but the, the standard version, it reclined a whole lot. And we didn't find that to be quite as comfortable unless you really, really were wanting to recline a lot. Like this Lucky, uh, it was, didn't recline nearly as much. It, it supported your back a little bit better. And it's something like this Moonlight here, it has the ability to adjust using these, uh, these handles on the side to have almost no recline or you can pull that back and really recline. So that was a super nice feature of the Nemo here. All right, now let's go over some of these chairs here and some of the features and things we liked and didn't like about each of these here. Here we've got the Big Agnes Mica Basin. This one was one of the most comfortable chairs that we tested. It was one of my personal favorites. Uh, the downside to this is 35 ounces, so it's just a hair over two pounds. It kind of crested over that two pound mark, but it is super comfortable. It's more like your favorite camp chair than it is a backpacking chair. So you can tell it's a little larger. It sits up a little bit higher. The seat height is another thing I forgot to mention earlier that, if, that affected the comfort with a lot of these. They're, most of them are pretty close except for that, uh, that Alps over there. But this one does have a little higher seat height, which is more comfortable, easier to get in and out of. Super comfortable, super supportive. It didn't lean back too far and at 35 ounces. So these three here are both are all at, at the about the 30 ounce mark. So just under the two pound mark. This is the Climate Ridgeline Short. This one is a nice sturdy chair and didn't flex too much. Uh, it does lean back a little farther than we preferred as far as the chair, but it was comfortable that way. It's made of a nice durable mesh here as well. And so it, it's, it's a nice chair. It's a better budget friendly option. So if budget is of more concern, this is a good option that way. This one's certainly more expensive. I think this is the most expensive chair in the review, but um, fairly lightweight, but super comfortable as well. Over here on the Nemo Moonlight, this one is that was another one of my personal favorites it, with the ability to recline here and adjust the recline so you can cover both if you want to recline or if you don't uh, it covers you that way really really sturdy didn't flex too much when you sit in it and uh, it right about 30 ounces as well so a great option here the whole thing is mesh in the seat and it was just one of the more comfortable chairs for me that i tested uh, and really like this one now the lecky timeout here is one that i wasn't familiar with at all but it's actually really really comfortable uh, surprisingly so uh, it's very very stable probably the mo one of the most stable chairs um, if you are a, a larger guy or a larger gal uh, this is a, a really good option because it has the highest weight capacity of all the chairs i believe if i remember right uh, it's well over 300 pounds i think 325 pounds is the max load for this where most of the rest of these are on you know, 300 pounds 
or even down to 250 with some of them. So uh, and that, all that information is over on the website, backwardspursuit.com, all the, the, the weight ranges for each of these. But this one was the, had the highest weight rating. So if, if that's something you need, it's comfortable. Really the only downside to this one that we didn't care for as much, it's all a little bit on the heavier side at, uh, at 30.3 ounces, but the width isn't real, real wide of a chair. As you can tell next to these other ones, it's certainly narrower in the seat. So that's a bit of a bummer that way. Uh, moving over here to the REI Flex Flight. Uh, this is one of REI's most popular chairs, and for good reason. It's a, it's a nice chart chair. It's really solid. Um, it leaned back too far for us, though. It was a little bit uncomfortable that way. Very similar to the climate there. If that's the style you like, you're going to really like this chair. Me personally, I, I didn't care for that as much, but it is a fairly lightweight, 30 ounces again, and it's great that way. Uh, it, so, it, and it's nice and stable, packs down pretty small as well. All these pack down fairly small, uh, but some of them certainly are a little bit better uh, than others in that department. All right, moving over to the Big Agnes Skyline UL chair. This is one that I really, really liked. This is kind of a really good medium between heavy and comfortable and really ultra light and not quite as comfortable. We'll get into those in a second. But this one was fairly lightweight at 27 ounces, but it's super, super comfortable. It's a really good middle of the road and price points a little bit better on this one as well versus say that Micah Basin, which is really, really expensive. This one's still on the more spendy side, but it is nice at that 27 ounces and easy to put together and whatnot. So really good option here. And it was really comfortable. It didn't lean back too far. So it, it checked the box there for us as well. Uh, the Alps Axis here is a very unique chair. As you can see, it sits really low to the ground. And because of that, it does lean back a lot as well. But because this one was lower to the ground, I didn't mind this one leaning back as much. It's just the lower seat height makes it a little harder to get in and out of. And if you're, say, in a hot tent or inside of a tent light, something like that, um, this is going to take up more room in the sense of you're going to have more of your, your front to back here. Your legs have to be all the way out, so it takes up a little more space that way. But it is nice that it's lower to the ground as well inside of a tent. So uh, good that way. This one's a little bit harder to set up. It has a, a, a second piece here, the second support bar in the front. Um, all the rest of these are just one piece. You pull them out and they more or less kind of uh, go together. Uh, with the, the bungee cord that helps tie them together. So this one's a little different that way. Probably the hardest to set up, but it's not really that hard either. So they all take, you know, roughly a minute or so to set up. I mean, this one just takes an extra step that way. All right, now getting into this final section, this is the true ultralight backpacking chair section. Got 17 ounces, 17 ounces, and 16 ounces for these three. So if weight is the biggest concern, these three are the ones you're gonna wanna look at the most. Um, this is the Helinox Chair Zero. Uh, we've got the REI Flex Light Air and the Big Agnes UL Stool. Of course, the, the Big Agnes Stool, it's a stool, so it should be lighter uh, than the others. But this was surprisingly really, really comfortable. I didn't think I was going to care for a stool really at all, but where I found the application for, for this to be really, really good was in a hot tent or if you're using it in that kind of a scenario where you're needing to save space it does that really really well it's the the most compact of all of them when it comes to pack size really comfortable and really good for putting your boots on taking your boots off eating dinner that sort of thing not quite as comfortable in the sense of you don't have back support so you give that up with this one but it is surprisingly comfortable and definitely one that i'll be taking with me when i'm using my hot tent my seek outside hot tent and needing to, to hang out inside the tent for some of those long cold nights uh, before you're heading to bed. So that's a good option that way. The Helinox Chair Zero was probably my overall favorite of the ultralight chairs. Uh, it's, it's more expensive than, uh, than the others, uh, but it is super lightweight, just one, one ounce heavier than the REI Flex Light Air here. But it was more comfortable, it didn't lean back too far, and it didn't flex too terribly much when you sat in it. One of the things with the ultralight chairs, be, to make them ultralight, they use less materials overall, particularly in, in the frame structure. So they tend to flex a lot. And you'll see that here with the REA Flex Light Air. But this one does flex, but not overly so to where it feels unstable. So this one didn't lean back too far. It was nice and stable. It does have this horizontal side to side structure, which was more stable for me, I, I felt like. And was still able to you know, put boots on, take them off and that sort of thing and be very comfortable in this one. Uh, the REI Flex Light is a nice uh, ultralight chair. It's the lightest of the group. It packs down super small. I found it to be a little bit unstable front to back. You sit up on the front, say take your boots off or whatnot, I tended to want to come forward just a little. And it, it's not quite as stable laterally here because I felt like because of this front to back uh, frame structure. And the other thing that was interesting about this is 
it has a 250 pound load rating the same as the, the helinox here in the in the uh the stool but it, it flexes so much that it feels like it, it's not going to be stable it is it never had any problems that way but it was interesting that way it's a different feel it almost feels like you're in a water bed or something like that when you first sit in it so it's it's not necessarily bad it's just very very different you have to get used to it a little bit so really nice chair packs up really small but it did lean back a little farther than i preferred so because of that, uh, the, the Helinox won out just a little bit in the ultralight uh, side of things. And then this stool was, was definitely a favorite for inside or tent or whatnot, that sort of thing. So that is a rundown of the ultralight and lightweight backpacking chairs we had a chance to test here. Hopefully that's helpful for you. And drop any questions or comments down in the comments section. Happy to help out and answer any questions we can. Again, I'll put a link to all these down in the description for you so you can check them out for yourself. Thanks for watching here today and we will see you next time.